All right. Got this in the mail the other day. This is my CMO 35A AK-74U from Sima. Polar Star build. I'll tell you what, this was... I almost want to keep this an AEG. This is such a nice gun. Such a nice gun. Nice little manual. Plenty of info. A lot of it in Chinese, but that's okay. Uh, front sight adjuster. Fake Blake-like mag. Colored mag. Don't eat these. Cheap Sima BBs. Throw them away. Uh, this is it. Now this is the AK that I wanted to begin with. I got a LCT AK-74 MN with the green furniture. And it's just a little too long, a little too heavy. Uh, if you try to put a suppressor or anything on it, it's too long. But this Simon right here, man, this is real wood. I mean, this gun is solid. No shaking around, no clanking. I mean... The thing is fixed right there. It's pretty tight. I don't move it around because I don't want it. But the stock is, I mean, it's its solid. This is a nice gun. Um, $150 at Amped Airsoft. Um, I mean, it's, it's so nice. I don't even want to mess with it. I almost just want to put a lipo in it and run it until something happens before I HPA it because it's just so nice the way it is. I mean, it's, I also bought a Sima Atlan series. I think it's a CMO 40 something um, with the Strike Industry rails, but it was a little, it was longer than it looked in the picture. So I traded that for a fall um, six millimeter pro shop. Um, that's a project gun waiting to happen, but this is gonna be my next. I mean, this thing is really nice. It's got the, I mean, it's spring-loaded back. I mean, it just flips up. I mean, that's that's sweet, man. Sama, I think Sama makes really good stuff for, I mean, what you pay for. Let's put it that way. For what you pay for, Sama makes really good stuff. Um, you can just run it till it breaks and then upgrade it. Um, I'm actually going to put a 185 millimeter barrel in this. As you see, the, the barrel comes all the way to the end of the flash hider. I bought a Novridge suppressor um, that I want to put on it, try to make it as quiet as possible. It's probably going to come out to here. So I want, I want the barrel to stop around in this area so I can get that full suppressor suppression excuse me of the suppressor and then it it still won't be too long uh, the stock folds with this little button here and snaps into place with a clip but i mean man i get this thing hpa'd i am going to i didn't clip the stock in place by the way i'm trying not to move the stock as much as possible because i don't want it to get loose and wobbly but yeah it just clicks back into place and with my die mask it only takes up that much room so and it drops down a little bit out of the way so i'm thinking with my die mask uh i got a rail to replace the front sight coming so I, I should be able to get on my red dot. I've noticed that's kind of a thing since I switched to the die mask. Um, I can't really use a magnified scope. And I like to use a magnified scope sometimes. Sometimes I don't. But yeah, this Simon right here, $150. I mean, I if, if I was going to run this as an AG, this would be perfect. I mean, just the way it is.
Um, I mean, it is really nice. If you could feel this thing, you don't have to spend a lot to get a good gun. I mean, if anything, if I was going to keep this stock, I would put a MOSFET in it. Maybe put me a tight bore barrel and a new motor. And you would, there would be no other reason to upgrade anything else unless you wanted a real high rate of fire and wanted to change gears and all that stuff. But, I mean, this thing shoots good out of the box. I mean, you put a 3236 in there, man, you're shooting out 150 plus feet, no problem. Um, yeah, but the plan is. The plan is to either buy the nozzle, the Simon nozzle. I bought the LCT nozzle thinking it would fit in here. It's not going to fit in here. I need a number two nozzle, not a number 12. So I may keep the Polar Star in my Pro line and just buy a jack since this is going to be kind of my CQB gun. I'm not really worried about the accuracy as much. Um, so I think a jack, even though it's an open bolt system, should be just sufficient for this. I'll just have to find the right bucking. But this is the Sima AK-74U with the wood furniture. I mean, super nice gun. If you're considering getting one of these, I say do it. All right, thanks for watching.